we're here at the uh, Football Museum for your unveiling of your shirts. Just when you see that shirt in with so many other iconic you know, shirts and, and, and names of Scottish football, just how does that make you feel? Oh, unbelievable. Uh, it's a pinch me moment. I can't believe that this is my life and they've done this. Uh, and immediately when I seen it, I just automatically think of that wee Xander at 13 year old coming through here. You know, I've been so many school trips, been with Motherwell here, um, Airdrie as well, Went, came, came here when I was in a youth, you know, and that internal turmoil that I had in my brain, a wee Xander or a, a young lass to see that, that's struggling with their sexuality, I know that will help them because it would have helped me. Um, means the world, really does. So you almost get emotional looking at it because as I said, it's amazing how just one shirt can bring back so many memories, either good or bad, but, but, but for the right reasons. It is, it's very emotional, because uh, that shirt holds so much significance in my life. Like, it's my, I scored the 100th goal with that shirt. Uh, it's the first game that I was out, openly out, so there was a lot of media, media scrutiny. I remember walk, warming up and I'm like, oh, this is unique, you know, just noticing loads of people taking photos in you, trying to warm up. And that was strange and unique. And, I did feel a lot of pressure that game and to score that hundredth goal and then now for that for that strip to be there, it's it's incredible. Uh, it really is. And I know I now know because of all the messages that I get and the letters of support for dads and mums and carers and even young people uh, that are struggling and they've seen my story and it's been like, no, oh, thank you so much. Because I didn't have that growing up. There was no LGBTQ plus education. There was no visibility in my world, out with, you know, fashion and obviously God rest his soul, what happened to him. My role models were like Gok Wan, Graham Norton, Alan Carr, these type. Unbelievable what they did, but I couldn't relate to him being a, a young gay footballer. You know, I just thought that I couldn't put two and two together and for years I wanted to fight that. And I'm so glad now that I hope that young kids, when they come in here and see that, they don't need to have that internal fight anymore. They can just be like, oh, there's somebody like me. You've been on such a journey already and it's been well documented obviously about your journey and is it almost a pinch me that you can sit back and go there are people that you've helped already when i made that facebook post in september 22 on a veranda oh, balcony verandas are such a glass <laughs> region word <laughs> on the balcony um just coming back for benedon pride um when i made that private and that's i didn't have any social media when i made that post honestly honestly ronnie i thought it'll help it's an easy way to tell the football community Probably going to help a few people, maybe get a wee bit of traction and that'll be that. And for it to go like this and to get letters as some I keep for 16 year olds, obviously younger ones but their, their mums and dads have clearly helped them, uh, to get that big long message and to get like fathers as well messaging me like thank you, you've really helped me how to work and support my son and their daughter, oh, I'm getting emotional because that to me is incredible, that's what I want, I, I just, you can't help being gay, you can't change it. And trust me, I've tried to buddy, convert, use that conversion therapy myself. My internal some of what we have tried for years to try and fight this. You can't. People are just gay. What is it like still for you? Because there, there is, we can sugarcoat as much as we like, there is still a really harsh side of the world and harsh side of social media that, that we live in. In terms of social media, it's Twitter that's the big one that still needs work, I'll be honest. Um, majority of them, other ones are fine. Um, but I, I probably... Sometimes it's after like a, a big media gig or whatever, sometimes it's daily hatred. Um, I bet I'll get a couple of times a week, either comments or messages of of hate. Um, I had one message this morning actually, like saying you should come to my church and when they can get, put you through conversion therapy, we'll put you through conversion therapy. I'm like, buddy, I've been trying to do that for 20 years. <laughs> and nearly sent me the other way, you know, it really did. I, you know, I'll be, I'll be noting this as saying, I, did, I have had suicidal thoughts because I was putting that at bay, my sexuality, into a wee box, which was just getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. Uh, I'm like, it doesn't work. On a lighter note, pride, front and centre, in all your glory. Nice. From leading that pride match, it was so emotional, like just seeing so many people and so many happy people. Uh, Families, we kids, happy. It, it meant the world to be leading that. You know, it's, it's like pinch me. It's still like imposter syndrome, a bit like we Xander for Glasgow, we Stender Glasgow, like now leading Pride marches. This is mental. It means the world, honestly. Amazing.
as you sit here with your strip in the football museum mm -hmm. in case in Scottish football history forever mm. it starts like step one with you so how proud are you? If you're good at this Ronnie you're <laughs> going to get me emotional <laughs> uh, aye I mean you can play the violin here but aye for it's been a struggle when I've not been my true event itself to actually be proud of anything that I've done and I've you know I've been at uni and I've been in good corporate jobs, done well, relatively well with football. I've no took, there's a few opportunities, you know, when I was in the closet that I had to play higher and I've always said no, just because of my sexuality. Um, so for now to do that, um, now to play higher, get my chance in leagues, and then now for a strip of mine to be in the Scottish Football Museum in Hamden, that's going to be seen by thousands and thousands of young people, but not only young people, you know, people from all over the world, adults, parents, carers, you name it. Uh, oh, indescribable feeling. Uh, a bit, I, I, I just, I hope, you know, that young person that's maybe getting a wee bit of bullied at school, struggling with sexuality, but likes football, and just maybe thinking about getting up, and they just, they're in here, and they stumble by that, start reading it, and they're like, oh, there's somebody like me in this world. There's somebody playing, and it's played. And it, if that helps, then not to give up and continue that sport. Oh, that's just, <laughs> it brings just so much joy in my face, you know that? Uh, it means the world. Uh, and I definitely will shed another <laughs> happy tear. I'm holding it back to the new for camera, but aye, I'll definitely shed a few happy tears because I just I know how many people will be helping because I know I now know there's no there's so many people out there that's like me you know uh, means the world Ronnie it really does good man well thank you very much we appreciate it pleasure congrats on the shot and um, thank you very much for joining us at STV pleasure cheers Ronnie